So in the original Superman movie, it was new before Zod. This one? I will find him! Hey everybody, this is David, and today I'm going to be talking about Man of Steel, the movie directed by Zack Snyder, produced by Christopher Nolan, and story written, as well as David Goyer, and starring Henry Cavill, Amy Adams, and Michael Shannon. So yes, here we are at my Man of Steel review. I'm very excited to be talking about this one because I really enjoy this movie a lot. When this movie originally came out, I remember it was getting a lot of mixed reaction. It has a 53% on Rotten Tomatoes, which means some critics were liking it, some were hating it. It was about even, I guess, almost more or less. And uh, yeah, I was kind of like worried because I, I really loved what I was seeing from the trailers and all that. The trailers looked amazing. Even if you didn't like the movies, you gotta admit, the advertising for the film looked great. And so when I was going in, I was kind of worried, like, man, I hope this movie isn't what, like, what some critics are saying it is. I really hope this is one of those movies where I'll be disagreeing with the negative critics that didn't like the film. And thankfully, I, I was right. I, lo I loved the film, and I thought it was really great. And to this day, I think it's very underrated, and I enjoy it more and more every time I see this movie. I put it right up there with some of the best superhero films of all time. So, what was good about this movie, you might be wondering. First of all, let's talk about the star, Henry Cavill. I think Henry Cavill definitely embodies what everything what a modern day Superman should be. Now, I remember going into what I thought about Superman Returns and that I thought Brendan Routh was a great Superman. I think Henry Cavill is actually the best Superman since Christopher Reeve the best actor to portray Superman right now. And I, I think he does a really great job with what's given to him. And, you know, let's let's face it, he has a lot more lines than, than uh, Brendan Routh. So that's a bonus point right there. I also got to give props to Michael Shannon as Zod. I mean, it, it was hard to, you know, go into this movie thinking... You know, when you think of Zod, you think, Kneel before Zod, that iconic line from Terrence Stamp from the original Superman film. So it was hard, like, would this guy get this idea of Zod out of our brains and bring Zod to a more modern, uh, you know, more fleshed out character? And he does. I think Zod is a great villain in this movie, and he's really intimidating, especially by the end of the film. I mean... A lot of people will say that controversial ending where Superman breaks Zod's neck. Uh, spoiler alert for those of you that haven't seen it. But yes, yeah, Superman breaks Zod's neck and because he has no choice. But Zod was putting up a great fight towards the end of the film. I mean, you gotta, you can't blame Superman for what happened. because Well, obviously Batman v Superman, they're going to be blaming Superman no matter what. But as an audience member... I remember a lot of people were very upset that Superman, you know, Superman wouldn't do that, but he had no choice. This was Superman's first outing, and Zod was doing everything he could to, you know, make this world fall. So I don't see where the problem was there um, as an audience member. I think that some people just wanted to be really nitpicky about the whole situation. Like, come on, guys, and then we're running this is his first time being a superhero. And number two, Zod was giving him no other choice. Amy Adams as Lois Lane probably wouldn't have been my first choice to play Lois, but I think she did a really good job in the role. I really think she embodied what Lois should be. Again, she wouldn't be my first choice, but I, I thought she was suited well. The rest of the sporting cast was great. The special effects are really amazing in this movie. This movie probably has to have one of my all-time favorite final fights in a superhero movie. The final fight between Zod and Superman is so amazing. Just, to, you know, it's so epic on a grand scale. I mean, to this day, you got to give Zack Snyder some credit where credit is due. And that is he, he knows good visuals. And you watch 300, you watch Watchmen, uh, even The Legend of Gahul. Um, I haven't seen Sucker Punch, but I heard if you watch that movie with the sound off, the movie's really nice to look at. So Zack Snyder definitely has an eye for visuals. And if you watch Man of Steel, there are some great visuals in this movie. 
There are even some minor visual references to Watchmen if you're really play, uh, paying attention very closely. Also, you can't talk about Man of Steel without talking about the score. You know, when you re remember the original Superman movie, a lot of people remember that that iconic John Williams score. And I feel that Hans Zimmer has actually created a score that really uh, transcends the original Superman movie. I think this is the soundtrack that I've listened to. The Out of all the movie soundtracks I own, I think this is the one that's probably my favorite. I think it really, really brings the movie to life and gives it a new flavor that we never thought was possible after that very iconic score that John Williams gave us a long time ago. I will say as a negative though, I feel the movie does go a little bit too long. They could have probably shaved off maybe 10 minutes here or there. Uh, one scene in particular is towards the end. There is a lot of action in this movie and one of the reasons why is because this movie was sort of a reaction to how people reacted to Superman Returns. A lot of people complained that Superman Returns was a little dull and boring, that it ran too long, there was hardly any action, Superman doesn't punch one person in that movie. So in this movie, they give us all-out action Superman, and they deliver on every level. Now, I think they did go a little bit overboard with the action, so I'll admit that. And I think they could have shaved off the part where he fights that, like, tentacle squid uh, type of uh, the robot at the end. Uh, the machine that's drilling in Japan or somewhere. Uh, I, th I think they could have cut that part out and just went straight to the final battle with Zod. But um, that's the way they chose. So uh, thankfully, there was no extended version because, you know, let's not make this into Transformers. So with all that being said, guys, I'm going to give Man of Steel a 9 out of 10. I really enjoy this movie. I think it is great. I think it, this is underrated and I think more people should check it out if you haven't and I I know some people that didn't see it because you know the, so they heard oh mixed reactions it didn't get that many good reviews believe me there's a lot of people that do defend Men of Steel I've seen a lot of reviews that defend the film and from a lot of great professionals and some critics that I admire and I um, look up to and I listen to a lot so I don't know check out Men go online Search on YouTube, you know, Man of Steel review, or hey, here's my review. And if you trusted a lot of my opinions up to this point, guys, you know I'm telling the truth then. I love Man of Steel and I recommend it to you guys. So I am ending it here, and uh, this is the last of my Batman and Superman reviews. I finally all did all the films, starting from the Christopher Reeve Superman movies onward. And yeah, we started with Superman, we ended with Superman, we are ready for Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, it's almost here, literally less, I think it's less than a month, We're get, it's gonna go fly by like crazy, and don't worry because I have a couple more Batman Superman uh, videos, a top 10 will definitely be up there, and um, yeah, until then, take care.